Good afternoon guys, welcome back to another episode of the Transporter Rebuild and we're painting again but not like last time, this time I've done a major upgrade oh yeah, I've upgraded the first thing you can see on this upgrade list is this very cheap gazebo um, I wasn't planning on buying an expensive one because I'm just going to ruin it by covering it in paint so that was first on the list. Inside the gazebo, I have four lights pointing down to uh, illuminate uh, my beautiful panel. And I've also bought this infrared heat lamp. Uh, this is used, I think, for, for usually painting wood. Um, you paint wood, you stand this up next to it, and it heats. And uh, what this actually does is it heats the inside of the panel. Instead of like heating the outside, it heats the, the metal itself, so it warms up from the inside out. Um, I'm not sure how sort of far this penetrates. Sorry about the flashing, that's the, the uh, lights. But the, um, I'm not sure how far the heat penetrates, but I can tell you it's very warm in here. Um, just since putting that on, it was warm in here anyway, but putting that on has made this whole gazebo quite toasty. I've also created this rudimentary extraction fan. Um, but I'm not actually using it as an extraction fan. So last time I painted in a gazebo, I had this fan flip the other way around. So it was pulling air out. Now, the problem that had was because there are gaps in a gazebo all the way around, it would pull in unfiltered air from the, from the whole of the gazebo. So I think I'd actually pull in flies and, and other dirt and things I don't want in here. So what I've done is I've turned this, I've made this an in fan, which isn't, the best for painting because you don't really want something blowing against what you're painting but this uh, material is a uh, is a filter material so it's actually filtering the air coming in don't get me wrong it's not perfectly sealed but it's better than nothing um, so that was another big upgrade and the final or two of the final upgrades was high build primer so um, I bought a white high build primer um, to do the inside of the doors um, because it was far cheaper to buy white um oh my god these lights looks like a disco in there so i've bought white primer and i'm going to use that on the inside and then i've also got yellow primer for the outside to try and get that color match correct um so this is quite expensive stuff and this is i mean this is probably quite a lot of money just these two little tins so i'm going to try and save that for the outside of the panels and use this on the inside you're never going to notice i promise you once the paint's on um, and it's all colored you're never going to notice when you open the door especially because the whole inside of the van is carpeted uh you're not never going to notice that it's a slightly different shade um but yeah so so far all i've managed to do is to prime the inside of that door uh, i've done a lot of sanding i've done a lot of setting up i spent so much time getting the gazebo up and ready um and yeah, just trying to figure it all out and trying to trying to do the best job I can. But yeah, so the inside of that panel's primed right now. Um, I'm waiting for it to uh, to dry off a little bit so I can so I can just lightly sand it um, and get it ready for its first coat of paint. Fingers crossed. Today is the day that all the panels are painted. I kind of need it to be today um, because I don't really have much more time in order to do this. So I'm going to crack on and I don't, I don't think I'm going to fill you in too much. You've seen uh, me paint quite a fair bit already, uh, even if it was the wrong colour and I all got it all wrong. And also it's not easy to paint, uh, to sorry, to film inside the gazebo um, because absolutely everything gets coated in paint. And I don't fancy taking a camera in there with me. Um, so I'm going to try and show you little bits, but I'm going to, I'm going to mainly avoid um, filming inside the gazebo. Uh, maybe just give you little updates of how i'm doing and fingers crossed this process is going to be quite quick and we're going to sort of quickly montage our way through this whole painting process and then the next talking part of this video is going to be putting the panels on the van or at least when the paint is done and then i'll talk to you again so sorry for not being very chatty this episode but i just want to get this done because i want to get the van on the road and just make sure that everything else is good and I can show you off how good it's going to look with those panels done. So I'm going to crack on and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, well, several hours has passed. 
Um, when I say several, I mean like three, three hours. Um, literally spent all this time just doing the inside of the rear door. It takes ages. But I've got the, the bonnet is off the van and I'm currently trying to prep it to get it ready to do the inside of that um, because the inside of the back door is done. Um, I'm actually really happy with it. I think I found one little, just here, one little dark mark. But again, this is the inside of the door. Like, you're not going to see this part. It doesn't, it does not have to be as nice as the outside of the door. But um, yeah, this has been baking in here for probably like, I don't know, 20 minutes now. It's sort of still ever so slightly soft to the touch, so I can't quite move it yet. Um, but it's looking really good. Uh, I've I would turn the disco lights on, but you can probably see even less. Yeah, it's looking pretty smart, I reckon. Um, yeah, looking forward to um, looking forward to this being dry enough to move it outside, so that I can bring the bonnet in and do the inside of the bonnet, because I need to get these the inside done today. I'm, I'm running out of daylight. I'm running out of time. And uh, as soon as these are painted and out. And, and then they're dried, I can do the outside. Once the outside's done and that's dried enough, throw them back in the van and we are good as gold. But I can't remember if I mentioned it, it's just starting to rain, which is throwing a bit of a spanner in the works because I can't bring the door outside to dry off if it's raining. Hmm, yeah. And um, hopefully this rain holds off, I mean, it's probably just stopped now. It has a little, like a sprinkling. Um, but yeah, I need to get this done tonight. If I don't get it done tonight, I've only got two days to do this. I've got today and tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm working as hard as I can, as far as I can. Probably why I'm not paying much attention to you guys. Uh, but yeah, I'll uh, check in with you in a bit. And um, hopefully we get it all done. Guys, welcome back to day two. Um, I know I didn't give you much of an update yesterday, but um, as it turns out, I'm running out of time, um, as per usual. Um, so actually, last night, as far as I got was to paint the inside of the rear door, so I didn't actually make it any further, but I have been double busy today. Uh, right now, it's two o'clock in the afternoon, and I got here at about half nine, I think, and I've been busy ever since. So first thing first, the inside of the bonnet's done. Now... I know it looks like there's a little bit of dirt here and there, but that's just resting on top. It's just fallen from the tree since it is dry. That will, that will literally just uh, blow off. So, um, you know what? The inside of this is not perfect. It's it's not bad. It's not bad, but it's not perfect. Um, but it's been baking out here for maybe a couple of hours now. Um, and it should be ready um, to paint the outside of the bonnet um, by the time I finish doing this. Uh, again, sorry about the disco lights, something about this camera and these lights, the, they pulse at the same time, so you get this weird flash, it's not flashing in person, but I don't know if you remember, but I had a pro bit of a colour problem where it didn't match the original paintwork. This is yellow high build primer, and I'm pretty sure this is what Volkswagen use when they're painting the car at the factory. Um, it's not the exact shade I thought. I thought it'd be a bit brighter, but nevertheless, it is the yellow primer. And hopefully this color will come sort of come through the white and make the white a bit more yellowish to, to match the paint on the van. But yeah, so I laid this on probably about an, a half hour, 45 minutes ago. I've managed to sand, I've given it a real, oh, Jesus Christ, that light. I've managed to give it a real light sanding uh, just to knock off all the high points and I'm about to throw some color on. So I'll come and give you an update once the color's on and we'll see what we're looking like. All right then guys, another quick little update. Another two hours has passed, right? It's like literally bang on four o'clock right now. Um, and I think in the last clip I had the um, back door orange or yellow and I was about to paint it white. So we're now at the point where the door is painted and lacquered. But before we head in the gazebo and I show you, I have the bonnet all taped up, ready to go. So once I've got the door uh, the door out, this goes in, spray the top of it and done, but here we go. Sorry about the disco lights again, but 
Oh, I can't even, can't even show you properly. It looks great. It really does. Once I've got this outside, I'll uh, give you a bit more of a close up because these uh, these lights are just disco mode in here. But no, it really does look good. Uh, it's still a little bit soft. I've got a little bit of. I've got a little bit of uh, dripping going on, but uh, nothing that a little bit of sanding can't fix. But um, otherwise, no, I'm really happy. Oh my God, this disco. I'm really happy with the result. Um, I can't wait to throw it on the van. I've just got my fingers crossed that it's the right color. Uh, we will have to wait and see. Okay, another cheeky update. Uh, this is just a video of updates, to be honest, and sorry for the disco lights, but here we go. The color is on the bonnet. Uh, only one coat so far, got another coat to do, and then lacquer, but um, yeah, the bonnet's the right colour. First time the bonnet has been the right colour, well, I think it's the right colour. We'll find out when I put it on the van, but for now it's white and not black. Also, check this out. I mean, it looks pretty good to me. Obviously it's still uh, quite soft, um, but I mean... Look at it. Don't worry about the bugs on it. It's dry enough. Bugs can walk on it. They're not going to get stuck to the paint or anything. Uh, like this, this little spider here. He's uh, he's been walking all over the gaff. But yeah, pretty pleased with that. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the panels back on the van today. Whoa, is that paint on my eyelashes? Ugh. Um, but um, at least they're painted, and so that they can dry for a couple of days or overnight or something and I can put them on the van when they're ready because if I try and rush it I'm probably going to damage some of the paint and all my hard work's gone to waste but um yeah I've uh, been thinking about how I'm going to make sure that the colour match goes and I've been thinking I've got the old bonnet sat outside so I might go and get it and put it next to the door see if it's similar I will be properly bummed if it's not let's find out Whee, that looks pretty close to me. By my eye. By my eye, that looks pretty damn close. I mean, obviously it's hard to tell when they're, they're not like the two doors are together. If anything, I would say the door is actually slightly more yellow than the bonnet. But um, we'll have to wait and see when it's on the van. But that looks pretty close to me. All that hard work. I mean, fingers crossed it's paid off I mean I'm happy very very happy and I can't wait to show you the final product I've spent so long on this now I think we're on week nine and episode nine episode ten something like that and I, I'm just I'm so bored of staring at it um, so it's gonna be on the road pretty soon I can't wait so uh, let me finish off this bit of painting and um, I've got to pack up for the night but we're getting close guys welcome to day four of getting the painting done on the van um i didn't i didn't film anything on day three but there is something there's something missing from this day that was in the previous days and that's a gazebo and that's because the gazebo is put away now let me show you Ta-da! right so it's not perfect right i can i'm man enough to tell you that this is not the perfect color match i think the camera does quite a good job of hiding it but it is ever so slightly off but i don't think it's enough to be a problem plus this door's quite dirty and i think with the clean they might actually be even closer um but yeah the back doors come out so good i'm so happy with the results um it's rough now because it's been sat under that tree for a, for a couple days um, but yeah, with a, with a little clean up and maybe a polish, that's gonna come out really nice. But I did have a little problem with the bonnet. So while the color of the bonnet actually looks really good, I think even better than the back door, um, it's, it's matte, it's, it's completely matted. Um, I had a little bit of a disaster um, and while painting the uh, lacquer, the extraction fan stopped working on me and I was, blind in a room full of full of lacquer overspray 
and couldn't see what I was doing, which resulted in not only a load of overspray landing back on uh, my nicely painted uh, bonnet, but also, so this is gonna be really hard to show you, uh, there are some runs because I couldn't see what I was doing. There's a few runs here and there. Um, yeah, I was pretty much blind in there. I was just in such a rush to try and get it finished before I needed to get home that that hasn't come out perfect. But I think it is, um, I, it can be rescued. There's another run just here, don't you see that? If the light will pick it up. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that just needs a little bit of, uh, a little bit of sanding, a little bit of polishing, and I think that will come up quite well. So the van is now pretty much completely together. There's a few little odds and ends that I need to sort out. Um, and that's gonna be in one final video um, where I complete the van. And uh, so that is probably gonna take me, you know, a couple weeks to, uh, to really finish doing all of that. Uh, again, this video is going up late because it's taken me so long to uh, get these panels painted and get them back on the van. Um, but I just wanted to show you the aftermath of, of doing this kind of work. If you're ever interested in doing this yourself, this is what you have to deal with. This is all of the broken parts and packaging and parts that are not going back on the van. I'm not including this bit of paint over here, that's, that's, that's fine. But other than that, everything else here is rubbish and needs to go to the tip. And you, I can't quite believe I've done this many parts and this many, many pieces to the van in, in such a short amount, of, I mean, relatively short amount of time. Um, yeah, there's just so much here. Um, I'm gonna have to sort of compile this all into like cardboard and, 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 and like bits of plastic and, and panels and, and get this all down the tip ASAP because uh, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been growing quite quickly. But the thing is, is you don't wanna throw away old panels um, before you finished doing something like this because there's probably like a little screw or a rubber pad that's on one of those old panels that you might need. Um, so just today, um, I couldn't find the bolts for the top latch. Um, and luckily enough, I have stolen the bolts from the old latch. So that out quite well. So yeah, in terms of the exterior, we, we're done. Um, like I said, a few little bits and bobs to do. Full service, gearbox service, definitely. Um, that badge, I'd have the new one, but I'm not gonna put it on yet because the paint still needs to set. I've got reflectors for the rear bumper. Um, they need to go on. Um, that is pretty much it for the van. So yeah, let, I'm gonna sign off now. This is gonna be the end of the video. I know it's been little clips from lots of different days, but you know, and uh, I'm gonna clear all of this lot up and uh, I'm gonna head home, but thank you guys um and i will see you next time peace